Hallo aus dem schönen Frankenland. This video is about the DIY 48 volt 16S battery box, which I have here uh, not only one, but two, and another one is in the other room. So, um, one is already finished, uh, but uh, I used this this time and the second uh, case to show you um, what's really inside the box and um, what you can expect from this uh, kind of package. I ordered, I think, mid of January 2023. So um, it might happen that the, uh, all the uh, um, parts in there might have changed uh, already. And what I heard from Eel, from my contact from Eel Battery, they changed already some, some things in the meantime so but uh, it's not a big deal um let's open it but before we go uh, into the case i show you how it's uh, delivered mine was one out of three was delivered with that but this is not anything which um is really related to eel battery but more to the transportation agency uh, which was dbt in my case but it's only one, it only was one and there was it was so good packed you can see all this kind of um foam in there or on that one it was so good packed that nothing happened to this kind of case um so everything was fine super super nice packaging and um i'm using also these kind of rubber or foam things to get everything stable on the table and I will explain this maybe in a later video why I'm I'm having sitting the case right now on some foam here. So usually there are two screws, one here and one here or in diagonal, one here and one there to fix the upper blade. But um, I already unscrewed it and checked what's inside. And let's get, let's remove this plate. We don't need that anymore. And with that, we can have a look inside the box. And what's in there? First of all, you can see um, the two linkers. This one is mounted on a different way. Why it's like that? Because I already put it out to finish my first case and fix some things on it. But I will explain this later. So let's take this out. One linger and be careful they are really um, for one specific position in the, in the case so it's a linger B the B linger is every time here on the right side if you see it from the front panel and on the left side you have um, linker A so they are two different kind of uh, parts um, and I will make some space up here to show you exactly how it's looking so you have this kind of terminals these these boards are needed for for getting the um, battery cells balanced because uh, they are taking the voltage and uh, sending it to the we have this kind of uh, plugs here to the bms and the bms can can uh, control how much voltage uh, is drawn by by which which cell and 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 so on yeah so um what we have more in this in this box we have one one box one card box and in this card box are some screws then we have in my case i ordered the version with display and with bluetooth display um you have this display uh the thing let me show you if you have one with bluetooth there's a uh chip up here it's called something like barrett br22660 so if this is not present on your on your uh, display your play uh, it might be the case that your display is not uh, capable of uh, bluetooth or the whole bms because everything is coming from this kind of piece uh, of display so put it back in the case or the plastic so that it's not getting damaged then yeah the screws we already talked about that then we have the Seplos BMS and um, let me put this out here in my case 
this is a 200, 200 ampere uh, surplus BMS, BMS with um, uh, it's I think it's a 10e yeah it's written here it's a 10e so um, for you out there to explain these Zeppelin Zeppelin BMS's are not only sold by Zeppelin but they are also selling it by other vendors and they relabeling those or they are not mentioning the Zeppelin but um, the Zeppelin BMS is uh, really one of the most common ones, especially when you need communication, when you need a standardized communication, which they are really offering, and Bluetooth communication uh, stuff. The uh, drawback of this of this BMS, and uh, maybe you saw Andy's channel or or other channels in YouTube, they only have a really really poor. Um, um, passive balancer here you can see this here yeah so um, yeah but you can compensate that with uh, active balancers I have some here from Helltech and uh, but also those are really really sold by different companies and rebranded but um, the techno technology in there is all the same so with that one you can really uh, get this poor uh, balancer, passive balancer on this BMS, um, get rid of this. So, um, yeah, so this is the BMS. Let's put it back in there. I will wrap it a little bit because we are making a video right now. Doing this later on. Um, what we have more? Then we have different kind of sheets and for these sheets be careful because when you mount them it's uh, really uh, interesting because two of those sheets you can see are shorter by the height so four are high higher than the two others and these four are for the side panels here from here here in the middle two and on the right side and the shorter ones are only there down in the on the bottom of the case so um, be careful when you mount those because you can fit the higher ones on the on the base but um, <laughs> if you do that you will have a really hard time to get them out again if you realize that you did something wrong and this is not really mentioned in the manual um, or in the videos then you have four of these kind of epoxy epoxy blades they are all the same height and they are for the back and for the front here and here so let's take them out and we have a little bit of space there out so what we have more we have a, a, a pack of of bus bars so it looks like this but they are not really fitting. So all these bus bars, I will I will not show you in detail about these bus bars, but um, all these bus bars are really for the front panel to the battery cells or for the BMS to the battery cells. And um, yeah, I had some trouble with those because the, the borings or the slots not fitting because they are too, too narrow or... or the bore borings are on the wrong position so um but i i already got in touch with eel and they they are super supportive and helping me but with some tools with a drill bit and um, a dremel or, or something like that and some files you can you can also use use those bus bars without any hassle but um i have to say for the if you order in January or February, don't expect that everything is really fitting well. Yeah, with those. So, what we have next? Then there is one last box in there. I try to get this out. And in this box we have get something off here a little bit. In this box we have all the other parts so i can tell you i was really struggling with I, I start with with those two packs here on the side i was really struggling with that because 
they have these kind of epoxy sheets and it's 16 epoxy sheets in here yeah and they have only eight of these EVA uh, foam tapes in there and I asked them what is it about and they said yeah you you really don't need the foam tapes anymore because we changed our setup and um, you only need to put in the the sheets and um, why you don't need those anymore because if you have some cells you only need those if you have really narrow cells some cells are a little bit smaller in the inner width and uh, if there are eight of these cells in there and the width is uh, each cell one millimeter less then it could happen that you cannot really get tension by this plate or pressure by this plate to the to the battery cells yeah so that's why they put in that i can tell you i used all of those in my first case and all of those in my in my first case um but um i will do a video about that uh, later so let's put this by side then you have a super nice sorted uh, battery box i i like this really it's every everything is really handy you have already the solid screws okay mm -hmm. it's nice sorry about that but uh, here you can see the wall was falling down and right now the screws are mixed but um these are the black ones and the, the other ones you cannot yeah it's fine it's still fine for me so these are the the um, ah, these are the feet for the case and with these feet they are not standing they are not meant to be stand on the on on something but they are conical and they are screwed down here and um they are really fitting in these holes so you can stack three or two or three or, or several of those uh on on top and they are really uh, fitting there and and getting getting um oriented so that they are not sitting like this and um, I also can tell you I have the base base uh, um, transportation uh, plate um, yeah but they have the same points there so you fit you fit the box with these feet here on the other and they are really yeah orienting then these are the front terminals with covers um, yeah they are good they are super nice uh, i like those because uh, what i don't like on the sepals ones is that you need this kind of uh, um, special kind of uh, um, cables or, or or plugs and this is only really only a m8 plug so you can use normal ring locks or something like that uh, and put it put it to the terminals so for the future you can see it here this is more future proof uh, without having hassle to get a special plug for your cables. Okay, so this is in there. Then you have flexible bus bars and um, you can see they are like bended, but they are super flexible in here. You can, can you see that? I like these. And how did they do that? They have a lot of plates, maybe 10 to 15 really tiny, tiny plates of copper and they welded it on on the terminals together but in the in this kind of piece they are still free to move and and you can see it's like you can use it like that or or pressing it together and super nice stuff really 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 nice stuff i like those then you have uh, eva foam for um for this kind of linker linker boards you have to put this um uh, on on the lower side i don't know exactly for what it is but maybe they are they are pretending that one one uh, battery cell is getting loose if you stand it, transport it or something and it's pushing to the top so you have this kind of uh, eva foam there and it's yeah it's good a manual which is not really helpful um by this manual alone to build up the whole battery you will have some problems I, or at least I had some some issues and and questions open, which were not solved by this by this one. But um, yeah. Then you have um, these kind of locking mechanisms for. Um, this is really for if you stack 
stack as a, a modules together so you have one here and on the lower side you have this kind of here you can see these kind of hips so these parts these bars will will fit in these hooks and you can really connect connect two uh, modules together so you have a tower and it's not falling off or, or vibrating off or something like that so so this is uh, these two parts um, then you have a on off switch uh, which is mounted here on the front which needs to be mounted here on the front uh, it's a really nice switch having a little bit of stainless steel finish or something like that then you have uh, two cables um, one is for the linking port here and um, this is really fitting in here yeah for the left linking board a this the black cable is for the left linking board a and the with the white plugs this is for the linking board b and uh, it's going um, down here to the uh, bms later on then you have a few solder um on the first few solder i had some sharp edges and uh, it looks like still on this this one it's the same so you need a kind of conical drill and uh, get the sharp edges in these holes off so so that you can really fit on the front plate and um, i can tell you where is it yeah you can see it here down here there are two kind of um mountings for it and those really should fit in there in these two holes yeah and then you have uh, four handles and i like those handles they are like they have a kind of spring you can see that yeah it's a spring mechanism and they are super sturdy so we really um my brother and i today i uh, carried one of this case and there are four of those handles in there one two three four oh and here is one of these kind of lever mm -hmm. okay yeah so that's all what's inside the box and um yeah i i already can tell you um i had some some issues when i first time saw this box i saw that there that you don't have this kind of um wall in here or this kind of um, i don't know what you can how you call it, po pole in here so that the cell when the cell is really up here and uh, it's getting bloated it's not expanding in this direction so that's why i for myself made these kind of um three uh, wooden pieces and you can stick those you can stick those easily in the back and then you have this kind of um, something that uh, it pre pretends or prevents the, the cells from expanding to the back and also one thing eel is not providing especially for this button there's a reset button up there and it's still an open hole with some button or some some knob inside there which is on the on the um, bms uh, uh, board so i designed something like that it's really a, a super fast brain and i did not look for uh, having it in a super nice shape but um, it's doing its job and on the end on the back there is a small hole and this one is really fitting perfectly on the bms so you can put this in and then you have this kind of let me show you how it looks like oh did you saw it i don't know this reset button here and you can press it easily and fine and uh, it's doing exactly what it should be should do i don't know why eel is not providing this but um maybe in the future they are doing so yeah so this is my video 20 minutes already i'm i'm so sorry for this unboxing for this long unboxing but um 
this is everything which is in there let's have a short look about all the stuff and um, yeah with this i sign off right now and um yeah feel free to watch the next videos about this case see ya